This episode is sponsored by Chigger X. The Florida Keys, positioned off the southern tip of Florida, are composed of nearly 1,700 islands. They are a beautiful, timeless vacation destination, and they are also the front lines of mosquito research and control. The invasion of these bloodthirsty insects is never ending, and today I'll be working with experts from the Mosquito Control District. Their plan to combat these pesky insects is to drop payloads of BTI, a naturally occurring soil bacterium that only targets mosquito larvae. It's actually ground up corn cob that has a bacteria on it, correct? So it has no impact on anything environmentally other than the mosquito larva. Correct, and it only lasts a couple hours inside the environment. Wow. The helicopter's perspective allows us to identify hidden pockets of water that are nestled amongst the various keys, both close to human habitation and beyond. So right here, we're inside the spray area. We'd be uh, spraying right now, actually dispensing product. Got it. Yeah, we're, we're pretty, pretty low to the trees right now. This is <laughs> awesome. Most of these pools are brackish water, and growing within them can be broods of squirming alien-like monsters that need to be properly identified before the helicopters and their payloads can be deployed into action. And that is where the offshore recon team comes in. Right now we're approaching Raccoon Key. We're gonna land pretty much at the center of the island. It's a mile in length. Once we get on land, the real adventure begins. Uninhabited by humans, this mysterious world of tangled mangroves and skeleton trees is rumored to be the home of prehistoric looking lizards, lost experimental mammals, and is a target zone for one of the world's deadliest mosquito species. Guided by Kerry Sermonero, a biologist and mosquito expert who is fighting on the front lines, our goal is to determine whether or not a growing scourge of bloodsuckers inhabit this key. We are at the front lines of mosquito control, and the reason they do research in these areas is to find what species are possibly coming in. Now, the most deadly ones, the ones that I will be being bitten by later on in this episode, are seldom seen on this island, but when they do find them, it's very important because those could be mosquitoes that are actually carrying and can transmit diseases. So this front lines environment is incredibly important. As the offshore team begins the reconnaissance, the crew and I follow closely with Carrie. Her first order of business is to set a trap. So Carrie, how long do we hike before you find the right spot to set a trap? Um, pretty much right here. As in like this tree? This exact tree. So this is the trap, and what is the purpose of the dry ice? Oh, well, dry ice is made from solidified carbon dioxide, which is what mosquitoes are attracted to. So that's what you use to collect them. Okay. For anybody out there watching, you don't ever want to hold on to dry ice for too long because it will literally freeze your skin. The carbon dioxide comes down through the little holes in this cooler. Oh, I see. So the mosquitoes can um, smell it and be attracted to it. Okay. Fly towards it. They get sucked in through these little holes up here uh -huh. with the fan, and then they get thrown into this net right here. So this bag then catches your mosquitoes and how many days do you let this sit out in the field before you come and collect it? Just overnight. Now, if there was one mosquito you could get inside that bag that would be like the penultimate of dangerous mosquito, which one would that be? Probably the Aedes aegypti. And the Aedes aegypti is the one that I'm going to be eaten alive by later on in this episode. So there you have it, coming straight from a mosquito expert. That's the most dangerous. Probably means that's the one I should get bitten by. Um, so what's next? We look for freshwater sources? Yeah, basically any sources out here, they uh, breed in saltwater or freshwater. It doesn't really matter. Okay, and our target will be mosquito larva, correct? Right. Okay, well, we're headed this way down the island and hopefully we find some larva. Eventually we made our way into a clearing where a low dip in the rocky terrain allowed the creation of a fresh primordial looking pool. To us, this looked like the perfect place for mosquito larva to be brewing. Nothing? Nothing pretty sparse. I see a lot of little things swimming around in here. Oh yeah, those would be these. Oh, and what are those? Those are water boatmen. And are those dangerous? They're not dangerous, but they will eat mosquito larvae if they're small enough. Okay, so we would consider those good guys if they're eating the mosquito larvae. Right. Here, can 
I see the dipper? Sure. I'm gonna take a swing out. I see a nice open pocket right out here. Oh, got some stuff here. Ooh, 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 what are these? Those look like mosquito larvae. Right there? No, that's, no. those are boatmen? Yeah, these the guys moving around are all boatmen. Okay. So with those couple of scoops, would you say this pocket of water is clean, nothing to worry about here? Yeah, typically you only have to scoop a couple of times before you can determine that there's really nothing to worry about here. Got it, all right. And then if this was filled with larvae, what would you do at that point? Probably test a couple more places just to make sure that it's a decent enough area to hit with the helicopter, and then we mm -hmm. call on the helicopter to treat it aerially. Okay, so this spot here does not need to be hit with the helicopter. Right. Very cool.